Let's quickly get in a sense of perspective on the current developments taking place in Mali. For that, I'm joined in by our correspondent Phil Ihaza, who's joining us live from Abuja in Nigeria for more. Phil, a very warm welcome to you. Do share details about how this coup unfolded and when is the military expected to release the president and the prime minister? Well, thank you. Um, it all started several months ago when, uh, you know, anti-government protesters uh, who were not happy with uh, the government and, you know, um, you know, uh, developments that occurred as a result of um, in, in parliamentary elections in March, uh, that uh, most opposition parties were not comfortable with the re results. They uh, said, they alleged that uh, there were lots of irregularities in that election that saw uh, an upper hand given to the uh, former president at, at, at this time now, that's um, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita at the time. So, uh, this, these protests have, uh, you know, continued for several weeks, several months. Uh, protesters refusing to, you know, go back home, and they were insisting on the resignation of the uh, president at the time. Uh, there was, of course, mediation and talks, uh, you know, from the ECOWAS body, the Economic Community of West African States, and also uh, leaders of um, five, you know, countries, including Nigeria. That's Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari. They paid a visit to try to, you know, find, uh, you know, a, a truce, a peace talks. But the opposition uh, party refused and insisted on the resignation of the president. And um, we, we uh, started hearing reports of um, mutiny by a couple, uh, several soldiers in uh, Kati, that's a garrison town just 15 right. kilometers from the capital of Bamako uh, on Tuesday evening. And at first there were, um, you know, it looked like reports of um, uh, soldiers angry about the fact that they were not paid well, their wages and all that. But we've seen now that it has, uh, you know, become or evolved into a coup which has even forced the resignation of the president, uh, Ibrahim Babakar Keita. Right. Phil, also the United Nations, African Union and the European Union have condemned the military coup. But the sentiment on ground zero is a sharp contrast with people celebrating the president's resignation. What actually explains this sentiment? Well, you know that um, this is not the first time a coup is occurring in Mali. In fact, uh, a very similar semblance just happened about uh, eight years ago in 2012, which saw a transitional government and then, of course, um, uh, you know, an election that brought uh, this outgoing president, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, into power. So uh, it is also following the same uh, kind of um, uh, you know, proceedings or approach as it occurred in 2012. So uh, the military has announced that they are not willing to hold on to power. They uh, are going to ensure that a transitional government comes in place anytime soon, especially with the pressure from international organizations. And then, of course, a democratic election will be held to now see uh, a democratically elected leader take over the reins of power in Mali. So uh, the pressure from uh, the UN, right. which, uh, of course, uh, officials are holding an emergency meeting uh, to Day, and the ECOWAS and other uh, bodies will definitely see that the soldiers heed to their promise to ensure that a transitional government comes in place very soon. Right, how that promise actually pans out is something they'll have to wait and watch. Uh, last but not the least, Phil, critics are comparing the current situation to the coup of 2012, which hastened the fall of Mali's north to armed groups linked with the Al-Qaeda. Is Mali's military strong enough to fight the threat of armed groups like ISIS or Al-Qaeda? Well, um, you, you know that the, they've been in this battle for years now. Uh, in fact, um, one of the reasons why the coup took place in 2012 was the fact that, uh, you know, the, the, some of the soldiers said that they were happy with the way the military, uh, the battle at the time was going uh, because it, wasn't, it was going in favor of insurgents who almost took over the northern part of the country. So. Uh, it's not as if the military cannot handle it. It's about the political will. It's about the leadership of the country. And maybe that's why we're seeing uh, these uprising and this coup taking place. So it's about uh, uh, having a proper uh, uh, support by all parties or most parties in, in, in the government and the leadership of the country. And, of course, gaining um, uh, you know, attention from international, uh, from, interna from foreign uh, countries right. to see how that they can support. Mali has... Um, 
some French uh, forces also supporting the country. So uh, once there's a, a leadership, a right leadership, of course the military can tackle the insurgency uh, with the support of international bodies. Well said, Phil. It is a matter of finding the right leadership here. Is hoping Mali actually finds that. Thank you so much, Phil Ihaza, for bringing us all those latest details from Mali.